And these are the people that really helped me turn my grades around. People that are able to study with, people who are able to support me. What's up YouTube fam? It's Data Life, Dat A Life, coming back to you with another video. And today I wanted to talk to you guys all about my undergraduate experience. So I'm from New Jersey, but I came all the way to Baltimore to attend UMBC. So without any more intro stuff, let's get right into my honest review of UMBC and the STEM program. So the first thing you consider when you go into a school is the reputation. Now UMBC has a great reputation. It is known as an honors university and that is the number one thing they are concerned about. No one really comes here to party even though that does go on but people are here for academics. Maryland schools already have good reputations and UMBC's reputation is great especially for STEM programs. A lot of the reason the reputation is great is because the president of this school, I believe he just retired, but the president was Freeman Habrowski and at one point he was in the world's top 100 most influential people. That just goes to show you that the school is held in high regard and they're known for creating future scientists, future doctors, future mathematicians, future engineers, a lot of people who are going to do very good things. So rest assured that when you're sending people your resume and you have UMBC on it, people are going to be impressed by that school because it has a great reputation. People are very confident that you have had a good education. Now on to the second thing, the coursework. Now I'm not going to lie, the coursework is pretty difficult. I think it's slightly difficult than most schools. And the other things, people are there for the academics. So the coursework is pretty rigorous. I'm pretty sure the average undergrad graduates in about four and a half to five years. It took me five years. That was also because I switched my major three times. And I started off as a mechanical engineer. And let me tell you, those gateway classes to become a mechanical engineer, they were no joke. I did not do well in them. And that's why I had to switch with physics. And let's not even get into how hard that was. That was even worse than mechanical engineering. And then finally, I settled on math. But when I settled on math, I was also a little older, a little more mature, so I was able to get through the coursework. So the classes are very difficult, but remember that when you do get through it, and you will get through it if you just keep going, just remember that the school is very reputable and your degree will be very respected. Finishing the degree was hard, don't get me wrong, it was very, very stressful, but now that I have it, working is a lot easier, a lot less stressful, and I have a great career path ahead of me. Now onto the support that is provided. Now there's two types of support, and I'm gonna get into the first one, which I think is actually the most important, and that is the student support. That's the support you get from other students, your peers, people who are like-minded like you. Does UMBC put you in a position to meet people with the same goals as you? That's actually where UMBC shines because this is a STEM school. So if you are there in STEM, you're going to meet a lot of people who are studying the same thing as you. And at other schools who don't focus on STEM as much, it might be harder to find a group of people that you actually want to hang out with that are studying what you are. Like I'm a math major. There's a lot of people studying math who I do not want to hang out with. But because there's so many STEM people, so many math people at UMBC, I was able to find a friend group of people who I like to hang out with, who I'm able to study with, learn from, teach, and also just kick it with and actually enjoy each other's company. And these are the people that really helped me turn my grades around. People that are able to study with, people who are able to support me. And having that support group is really what got me through to the end of my program. There's so many people there that are gonna be studying what you are that you're gonna find a support system if you put yourself out there. In fact, they're probably gonna find you. This is the most important thing you can do in college, find a support group, because these people that I hung with in college are still people that I see all the time, almost every day today, and the people who get me through the hard times, the people who get me through the good times, and the people who ultimately got me to where I am today. It all comes down to connections, 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 and UMBC will help you make some great connections. Now the second type of support is the support you get to the faculty. That is the faculty support and the overall quality of teaching and education. And I love UMBC, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. This area left a little to be desired. There were plenty, plenty of professors that I had that had no business giving lectures at all. Now this is a problem that most universities have, so I'm not gonna be too harsh, but I did just wanna keep it real with you. 
There's a lot of professors there at UMBC who are great at doing research, who you'll see winning all these research awards and doing great work for the school, but they are just not good at actually teaching. It is what it is. Some professors are great. Some of them I loved being in class with them. Some of them were just horrible and should not have been there. Make sure you go on Rate My Professor before you enroll in a section. And you'll see teachers that have great reviews and teachers that have terrible reviews. If they have bad reviews, you want to avoid that at all costs. I've taken sections where 80% of the class had to retake that class because they got below a C in that class. And I've also taken that exact class with a different professor where the grades were much, much better and we actually absorbed the information that was being taught all because of the quality of the professor. So you really wanna be proactive when signing up for classes. Do it as soon as you can and make sure you get the best professors. This is something I learned on later in my college career, but be proactive, it's really, really gonna make a big difference. My GPA would be way higher if I had learned this earlier in my college career rather than later. So overall, this is a really good school. I loved going to UMBC, I made a lot of friends and it was very good academically. It really boosted my career. It gave me that start that I needed to. I was able to get a good internship, a good first job and it really pushed me to where I am today. So. I'm in debt. I'm so grateful I went to UMBC. It does have some cons to it. It does have some negatives. I wish those professors could be a little bit better at times, but overall it's a great school. And if you're thinking about going there, I would recommend going there. You're not going to regret it. So that's it for this time. If you found something useful from this video, if you're thinking about going to UMBC, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace. Deuces. See you later.